I built this Gen 5 modular enfoldable pontoon boat last year. It is small enough to fit inside my car, yet it is stable enough that I dare to use it in the Pacific coast. It has enough space to fit three crab traps. We'll have crab dinner tonight. Good. Yeah, at least we have three. Launching and retrieving the crab traps it's very easy, and the boat is also very stable. Okay. It's about 20 pounds and it's easy to carry around. However, when I tried to expand it to support both fishing and crabbing, I realized there's not enough deck space to mount the fishing accessories. As you can see here, I have very limited space to keep my fishing gears and I can mount only one fish pole holder. I bought this fish finder together with the battery and I have a difficult time finding good spot on the boat for these accessories. Besides, I need to have a few fish pole holders and also mounting a pedal drive. Therefore, I combined the features from my Gen 4 pontoon boat, which has more deck space and the modular feature of Gen 5, and created this Gen 6 pontoon boat. This boat is 12 feet long, and the modular pontoons are 6 feet long, which can be fit inside my boat EUV. Keeping it under 12 feet is a good choice, because if I decide to add a sail to the boat, I don't have to register the boat as a sailboat, which costs money. I have a sheet of inches thick, 4 feet by 8 feet pink foam. If I keep the pontoons to 8 inches wide, I can cut enough pieces of foam to build two 12 feet long, 4 inches thick pontoons. And the boat can handle more than 300 pounds. The foam is also pre-scored in a few places. Using 8 inches wide is a better choice. It took me about 2 hours to cut the sheet into to make 2 pontoons. The pontoons are 8 inches wide and the spacing between it is 12 inches. Each section of the pontoon is 6 feet long. The overall length is 12 feet. And it can support a little bit more than 300 pounds. I have used the different methods to glue the foam sheets together. Using the great stuff is the easiest. The bonding is very strong and it dries within an hour. I will show you how I built this pontoon boat in this video series. Please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I have many other videos on my channel. Hope you find them interesting too. Thanks and see you again. Bye bye.